Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the top 20 tweaks of all time. I've had people ask me, why jailbreak? I mean, what's the point? Apple's been adding so much new functionality. Well, with this video, I just wanted to show you guys that jailbreaking is not obsolete, and it will never be. All the new features that we can get with a jailbreak are just incredible. And just for this video, I compiled the top 20 tweaks of all time for your iOS 8 and iOS 7 device. Now, these are compatible with the new iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, and most of these are compatible with iPads as well. So not all of these are necessarily new. Some of them you have seen before. However, there are several new ones, but these are generally the must have, you know, most creative and best tweaks for iOS. I mean, this is the reason why you jailbreak. Now these 20 tweaks that I will be showing you, none of them are in order. I'm just going to be saying them randomly. And of course you will need to be jailbroken on iOS 8 in order to install them. Now, most of these are compatible with 8.1 and 8.1.1. I have tested them extensively. And of course they do support the new iPhone six so in order to jailbreak click on this link right here it'll take you to my website and you'll be able to jailbreak your device there and one more thing not all of these tweaks are going to be available from one source just by searching in Cydia you will need to add several new sources and to find those sources just click on this link right here it'll take you to my website and there will be the full list of all of these tweaks along with several bonus ones I haven't mentioned here and all the sources you will need to add so click on that link it'll show you how to jailbreak and install those additional sources anyway so the first tweak as you guys can see I have these little chat heads right here but they're called app heads this is app heads for iOS 8 and it brings that Facebook chat like feature to iOS. So let's say I'm inside of settings. I'm just going to open it up right there and I want to take a picture. So it opens up the camera within the settings application. I can take a picture real quick, you know, do my thing and then just close out of it real quick. So that's great. It's a very functional way to multitask on iOS 8 and iOS 7. Winterboard, I'm sure is one you guys are all familiar with. It allows you to install themes and completely change the look of your iOS device. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install oxygen theme. I'm gonna respring and show you what it looks like. And there you go. You now have an awesome theme that covers most icons. And of course, it's completely customizable. You can change any theme to anything that you want, depending on what's available in the Cydia App Store. So that's Winterboard. It completely changes the look of all icons on your device. Now, you guys may have noticed this little guy on the edge of my screen. And what it is actually is Mini Player. So Mini Player allows you to play music from your springboard within applications on your lock screen. It's a little functional widget that you can move around, place wherever you want, and it allows you to play music, you know, change the volume change your position inside of the song just like that and you can search for new music from within your music library or spotify it's very functional for such a little tweak click on that guy and you can open up music from there and you know when you're not using it just put it away so this one is lock glyph it adds a nice animation taken straight from the passbook from ios 8 onto your lock screen and when you unlock your device it'll give you a nice animation and depending if you want a sound or not it'll give you that sound so a very clean and nice addition to your lock screen if you do use a Touch ID enabled device. So this is Apex 2. If you slide, you can actually add additional apps behind other apps. And, you know, just put a couple in there to show you guys. And then it compiles all of your apps behind those certain apps that you choose. And of course, you can add more. Just hold and you'll get that plus icon. You can add more and it's really cool. You can do it anywhere. You know, up here, it's a different direction right here like that. So it's a great little way to hide apps without having folders on iOS 8. Now this is send delay. It's an incredibly useful tweak. And what it allows you to do is before you can send a message, it'll allow you to stop it. So in case you wrote an error or autocorrect change your word to something you didn't want, you can actually adjust the time that it takes before you send your message. And it gives you a little bit of time to look it over, you know, just in case you're in a hurry and you write something wrong to stop it and correct your message. Now this is barrel. When swiping between pages, you can get many animations you know, just like that. This is the cube outside and it gives you a very creative way to swipe between pages. This is something that's very unique. You'll be able to tell if a device is jailbroken right away just by seeing this, but it's a very cool way to switch between pages using barrel on iOS 8. Ever use your device in the dark and the lowest setting on brightness just doesn't cut it? Well, Eclipse 2 is a perfect way to enable a system-wide night mode. So from within settings is just an example in the phone application. It'll darken everything in the iOS system. So the iOS is much easier on your eyes in low light situations. Now, I'm not sure how to really pronounce this one, Schleipenizer or whatever it is. It allows you to make Safari so much more useful. Not only that, but also faster. So there's so much I could show you, but I don't have much time, but pretty much, you know, a couple functions I'm going to show you. Slide down to refresh, hold, and it'll open it in a new tab. And then you can go over here and find it right there. You can also do gestures. So if I do an L, it actually 
will open up a blank page and there's R and U, there's many different functions and you can configure them all in settings. So Schleifnizer makes Safari much more tolerable and way more usable. Next is iCleaner Pro. Now this isn't a tweak, however, it's a must have if you do install tweaks. Now this basically cleans up your device. All those leftover messages, all those leftover data bits everywhere throughout your device, this cleans up everything, including over the air software updates and you can choose what you want it to keep, what you want to destroy, and it'll free up memory on your device. Previously unused memory, you know, whenever you install an application, any leftover data, this will take and clean up. This is a must have. Next is Byte Font. Now this one goes very well with Winterboard. It allows you to change the system wide font on your device. So it freshens up the look. Now we're so used to the same font over and over. This is a fresh of breath air on iOS. As you can see, it does change it not only on the lock screen, but system wide. So everything is different, including everything in settings here. It's really nice. Now this one is a must have. I got to say extremely useful. It's called swipe selection and basically just swipe on any text left and right on your keyboard to move the cursor without actually having to take it and move it, click over here, you know, drag it, all that boring stuff. And if you want to select to just select from the back button to go this way and from the shift button over here. So as you guys can see, hold on, let me move it over here and I can select it the other way right there. So extremely useful called swipe selection for iOS 8. Now this is a very small one. However, it adds to the experience and that's what jailbreak tweaking is all about. It's making the system better. It's making it more customized towards your preferences. So this removes that ugly overlay that you get when you change your volume. If you change your volume, as you can see in the status bar, you just get those neat little icons, very minimalistic, very nice addition to iOS 8. Now this is one I'm gonna have trouble showing you guys because I'm not actually at 20% battery life, but you know those annoying messages you get when your battery is down low, you get those overlays on your display and it's annoying. Well, this makes those notices much more tolerable. It'll actually just bring it down right here like any other notification you get and you can easily swipe it up and get it out of your life without having to click okay every time it notifies you that your battery is low. So the next tweak is the ultimate tweak there is on City. It's called Springtimize 3 and you can control everything from page animations, page transitions, you know, the size of your icons, the color. I have a high contrast turned on right now. You know, the size of your dock, you can make the dock disappear entirely. You know, my transitions have been slowed down. You can change so much. It literally changes every aspect of your device from the notifications menu up here to your control center, to your actual lock screen. You can change literally everything and there's too much to actually show you. Next is Side Elite 8. Now this is a must have for anyone that installs apps from Cydia. So without actually having to go into Cydia and manually uninstall anything, you know, these are all tweaks from Cydia. All you have to do is hold them and it'll bring that little X to the top left corner and you can easily uninstall the tweak without actually having to go into Cydia and doing it manually. It's extremely convenient, a must have for any jailbreaker. Next is Zeppelin and this one is really old. However, one of the best little tweaks you can get for your device, it changes your carrier icon to whatever you choose. And if you have it enabled, you can choose from this list and there are many third party ones inside of Cydia that you can download and you don't need to respring. All you do is change them just like that and you can change them to what's in here or download additional ones in Cydia. Now this one is called Spin version 3.0. So it adds a nice overlay to your lock screen whenever playing music, it mixes it up. I mean, we've been so used to what we have on iOS. So this actually does work as a fully functional timer. Skip the music to wherever you want, just like that. And it's a very sleek and cool looking way to play music from your lock screen. You know, just mix up the look of iOS. So this one is called Watchboard and it actually enables the Apple Watch UI on your device. You can actually manipulate all of these apps just like this in the way that the Apple Watch UI operates from what we've seen on video and it's incredibly cool. I think it goes very well with a UI and it almost looks like it did come with the iPhone. You can, you know, zoom out just like that. I think this is incredibly cool. I mean, something so different and it works very well, compatible with all devices. It's called Watchboard and it works on iOS 8. And I saved my favorite for last. It's called Weatherboard. And depending on your location, you can actually have your weather outside playing in the background of your device on the lock screen and on your springboard. So really cool. And of course you can set it manually to what you like. It's not actually snowing for me outside right now, but it's incredibly cool and it works so well. It's hard to believe that it's not implemented into iOS already. So that's 20 tweaks, the top tweaks available on Cydia right now. And I'm going to show you one more must have just a little bonus for you. So if you actually hold your device to reboot it, this is called power tap. And if you tap on that guy, now you can reboot your device. And now if you click one more, you can respring it just from in here. And it's incredibly handy, especially if you're gonna be tweaking your device often and you need to respring it, it gives you a nice way to do that. 
So guys, that is my top 20 list. Now, these are all compatible on the newest 8.1.1 and Taiji Jailbreak. And if you want to install them, of course, you will need the sources. So click down below in the description. And I will have a couple bonus ones I didn't mention in here as well. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love making videos like these, sharing new cool stuff with you guys, especially when it comes to tweaks and jailbreaks. And if you haven't, subscribed already. I'm always posting new things for the jailbreak, you know, tweaks, apps, stuff like that. So guys, really do hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys like these tweaks. Have a great day. Peace.